you are a marathon runner. <laughs> and I think you love running. So what, I mean, what is it about running that you love so much? What do you get out of it? That's a good question. Is it time to think? It's, it is time to think. I'm somebody who has never wore headphones while I run. A lot of people, I guess, needed that extra, the motivation the, to get out and run. To me, I, I never wore them. Um, I would go on 20 mile runs and it was a good thinking time. And I enjoyed running with others, but almost as much or more enjoyed running by myself. Um, not that I didn't enjoy the company of others, but it was a time to, to be by myself. And it also, I think running shows, I'm at a point, I haven't been running as much right now since I've had my son and been busy. I'm not at the point running where I was six years ago and I wish I was and hopefully I'll be there again. But, but um, a lot of people say that they're not runners and they can't run. And I don't always believe that because there's a there's a hump to get over, and I'm I'm below that hump right now. I'm having a hard time getting out and getting myself to run the way I know I used to be able to run. So I know that you can get over that hump because I've done it and I've been there. And so I think others who say they can't run, like just push a little bit harder, and I think you can. I bet you'll be able to do it. Um, and so it's it's just I I just. I love running. I mean, I love it. And I see people out there running now and I get jealous because I'm not out there running. And that's, some people think that's crazy, but, um, and I was at a point where it, weather conditions, it did not matter. It could be raining, snowing, windy, dry, hot, cold. I would go out and run. And um, you, I, I always felt good when I got done. Even if it was a short run or a long run, you just always feel good about the run, about yourself. And, you know, after you run a couple marathons, it, it's, it's, a huge accomplishment and especially for people I think that didn't think they could run and then you go out there and by the when you finish a marathon it's like wow guess what you can do that no but finding the time and making right. the discipline and having the discipline to do it how was that I do yeah I, I ran a, a little bit as an undergraduate student but not not very much I did a couple I think 5k races maybe but when I was a graduate student living in Austin is when I really started to run a lot and I would actually use that time to think about my project. <laughs> and it's, I would solve a lot. A lot of times I would go for a long run at lunchtime. And I remember I'd start at the UT campus and go down south to the river, run around the river, run back up to campus. And, uh, and that's really, I used that time, like I said, mentally a lot, thinking about, thinking about what I was working on. And, and I actually solved some of the issues that I was having and the equipment I was building and that type of thing for my project. Um, my first marathon, I, I remember thinking, if I can run 11 miles by this date, and if I can run 18 miles by this date, then I should be able to run the 26 miles by this date. And I, I just, I put that on a calendar, and I did it. And I, I got to the point where I was running that. And I don't remember what my long run was before the marathon, but I may have only gone to, to 18 miles, but I figured at 18, I should be able to do another eight. Um, and then after that, after doing the first marathon, you kind of get hooked on it, I think. And, and then, um, yeah. But I, I think the time, I used it as my time of thinking a lot when I would run. I'm, I'm always just thinking about how bad I feel, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, I actually like there, to run too, but there, I, I have there, to... Yeah. There are runs, there are runs where I have not been happy and, and I just want to quit and especially marathons, <laughs> we're around mile 21, so you just, you, you just want to stop. But then when you finish, it's very, it just feels really good, and within an hour, when should I do my next marathon? You can have completely forgotten about that one hour period of time, <laughs> where, or half hour period of time, whatever it was, where I, you, know, you just want to stop and sit down and do nothing else. But then you realize, well, I guess I was able to push through it because I'm, I finished. <laughs> How do you get through it? You just, a lot of it for me, I think, is I just don't want to be a quitter, you know? And, and I, I know I could do it. And there were times, there were, I think I've done nine marathons and only two where I didn't walk at least some portion of it. And, you know, you come to the water stations and you walk for a little while and then you start shuffling along again. Um, you just find a way to push through it. And I think that happens in a lot of a lot of things. You just find your way to push through it.